Charity Chandler Coles, the CEO of Transformative Management Solutions, President of Black Los Angeles Young Democrats, Chairwoman of the Anti Recidivism Coalition, Commissioner for Los Angeles County Children and Families, President of Local Political Action Committee, and is the National Director of Contracts Administration for the AIDS Healthcare Foundation. Please welcome Charity Chandler Cole. Thank you for being here. <laughs> You're just amazing. I can't believe you do all these things. So many people look to you for guidance. How is the pandemic affecting you personally? Personally, it's been quite challenging. One, I'm very grateful that I still you know, have a full-time job. I'm able to work from home, but I have five children at home with me. And five kids, Jesus Christ. Having so many roles, having a full-time job, I would wake up some mornings literally feeling like I got hit by a bus. As women and as mothers, we're expected to immediately be the strong ones for our families, um, for our children, and even for our communities. I'm not a superhero. You know, we say I'm, I'm wearing my cape today and I had to tell my family, you know, my cape's a little worn out. I think that as mothers, although we quickly try to adapt and transition to this space, some of our employers didn't. So trying to advocate for ourselves and our needs in this space too is what's been and is still currently extremely challenging. So it's interesting because while we're in a public health crisis and as Black women, while we're trying to still prove that we can still work from home and do it successfully, and we're actually having to prove that to our employers so that we are still demanding that we have worth in this space during the pandemic, we simultaneously had another public health crisis crisis, which is racism. So we're fighting two crises at the same exact time. And so for me, I've been going out and protesting. I've been going out and advocating. I've been putting my life at risk for a public health crisis that kills more Black people than COVID-19, which is racism in our community, which is police brutality. You know, there's many ways to show up during a pandemic, even though there's many ways that my way of showing up was by physically going out and protesting. My way was sending an email to my employer saying, hey, um, your Black staff are not okay. <laughs> I am not okay. I am taking a sick day. What changes are the organizations that you're working with fighting to see? The most of the work I do is in the advocacy space. You know, I have my full-time job in public health. You know, we're definitely saying, racism is a public health issue. We're definitely saying that precautions need to be taken to protect people from COVID-19. But what we're really trying to do is shed light on some of the inadequacies and deficiencies that exist around how we respond to these crises when they occur. And so what we're saying is pay attention. You hear it, you're forced to see it, educate yourself on it, acknowledge that it's real, stop denying, and let's do what needs to be done to defund the systems that aren't working. When your car is broke, you cannot continue to drive it. You have to go get it fixed. And when it's not able to be fixed anymore, that's when it's time to turn it in and get a new car. Our system is broken. And not only is it broken, we cannot reform a system that was never created to actually help Black people. It was meant to diminish us. It was meant to dismantle us. It was meant to oppress us. So we say, let's work towards reimagining a system that will work. When we say defund the police, we're not saying law enforcement isn't necessary for actual violent crimes and actual violent people. We're saying we need to reimagine who responds to violent crimes and who responds to mental health issues and who responds to traffic tickets and who responds to children and little boys that are playing in parks with toy guns. We're saying we need to take this opportunity to reimagine that so that as a community, we can heal, as a community, we can be restored and as a community, we can grow and thrive. And so we need people who are watching now to say, how can I be a part of that? Figure out how we can together collectively restore our communities and heal because that's what we want. This isn't black against white is everyone against racism. <laughs> Charity for president. <laughs> and I believe that is your Instagram. <laughs> Not because I want to run for president though. Hey girl, what you doing in the microwave? Society says women take up too much space, that we're too bold, we're too intimidating, so we get shrunk down to size. I've been shrunk down to the size of a baked potato, I guess.